I can't move. Hello? Ooh. Ooh. How are all you lovely people in YouTube when doing today? It's been a while. How have you been? I've been doing okay. You know, life happens, things go on, but I'm here. Let's do this. We're here to play Killer Frequency in which, uh, you know, we're a talk show, late night talk show radio host who gets, uh, wrapped up in a killer's game and shenanigans. At the drop, R to throw. That wasn't a throw. Place object. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, okay. So, blue. Alright. Hear that. So, yeah. I was real sensitive in this one. Probably gonna need that anyway. Um. But yeah. Shenanigans happens and. I can't run. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Um, as. The games that we get involved is where, what does that say? E to inspect. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, where people will call in saying that they're about to be killed by a killer, and we got to help them out. Alrighty. I feel like I should have gone to the bathroom before this. Happens every time. But that's okay. That's half the fun. To move and open. Whoa! I don't... I am going to turn down my volume just a smidge. <laughs> a little out. I can't move. Hello? Ooh. Ooh. Oh! You do you hear something, Peggy? <laughs> huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. Oh, well, you're sassy. I like you. I know you. what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you hmm. ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh, we probably want to do some checks. All right, fine. Let's get through I this. have no idea what Alrighty, I'm doing. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Hi, captain. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Stab in Twilight. Perfect. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. 
Don't you tell me what to do. Unless you're my mouse. I don't know what happened. The uh, game crashed on me, so we're going live. Back again. All right. And. Got it. Yeah. Great. Now turn it off. No, this is getting good. This was it's a good song. All right. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Uh, line one? Um, line one? All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. No. It's a riot. Great. And button two works just the same. So, Ooh. let's move to the Peggy button. You Peggy mean the button. producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Hmm. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Third one on the phone line. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm ah. a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. This is the whole game That's right here. One. Just shooting papers and baskets. And being terrible at it. Hey. All right, so what are we doing next? Sound blaster, front of the desk to the right. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Oh, I can do that. Oh, we can put our favorite song back on. Yeah, baby. Do 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 do. All right. Crank that up. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Yeah, Captain Coming Dongle. For uh, Donald. Local time. Ah, uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. <laughs> it's my fun side that gets me in trouble. It really is. Now let's get the show started. Yes, After your please. Our first segment is guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. What? Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut yes. the music off. No. I don't want to shut the music off. It's getting good, getting good. Okay. All right, enough of that. We need to get to the scary okay, bits. Okay, you're live in three, two. 189.16. Piss me, what? Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to Forrest Nash, that's a name. The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works scream. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and. Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? I don't think That's this is good. a good segment. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Oh, come on, that's Here in oh, there it is. Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Oh. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Um, Guess that scream is a terrible idea. This? No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Oh, yeah, are you serious? Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? 
You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that it's scream. That scream. Oh, oh, the Wilhelm scream. The Wilhelm scream. <laughs> that was terrible. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guests. E fam Now, here's some music while you get dialing. So, this has been exciting so far. Um, what am I doing? Is back. What? I'll put that back on. Should I introduce the song? It's yes. funky. It's groovy. It's stabbing Stab in the, the twilight. twilight by Knife and Easy. Knife and oh, Easy. Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. I am amazing. Thanks. Thank you. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Ah, uh, stupid paper mechanics. There we go. All right, oh, so. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. So we're time gonna stop. Time to turn the music off. Uh, every time. Right Welcome when the music's getting good. Sixteen, the scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that screen? <laughs> As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Yes. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's yeah. office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Well, sheriff then report Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, That's... God, poor Sheriff Matthews. No bueno. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and stabbed really the twilight. I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but yeah, where are the other officers? I don't. I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. So why are, are you me calling me? This town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any well, sounds idea? Sounds like he lucked out. This? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I yeah. tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. 
Forrest, ah. I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Oh, I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, that's some very there are flimsy lots logic. Of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you no, can use. No, it's not. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Mm. There's got to be another way in. Is there another set of There's keys? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Oh. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Do you see how seriously I'm taking this? That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? <laughs> I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like... Like this, happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. Hmm. Can't select this. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. I suppose That's it's the right idea. thing to do. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... <laughs> whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but... He's dead, right? Right? But that mask... How the hell is he... Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? That's a, a serial, serial killer, killer name. In the 50s, wore that mask. But he's dead. He's What the hell? Oh god. Do you think Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should yeah. take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez is still 
Martinez has any... Uh, I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. There you go. I saw them parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Run. The whistling man is right there. Uh, well, Matthew's gun's gonna be out because it spent bullet shell casing, so Deputy deputies. Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Oh. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Yeah. Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. Well, you got the sheriff's Maybe keys. One of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. 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 Oh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Mm. Which should I take? It's pepper spray or... Taser. But it's not a taser gun. Because mm. both of these require to get up close while this you can stay at a distance. I'm gonna go with the pepper spray. The pepper spray should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then wait. Do you hear that? No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. Oh, don't take a look. No, I don't see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three, it's right there. He's probably waiting okay. at squad car three. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. Yeah. That's a brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. They're very nonchalant about this. I don't think they're taking this oh, as seriously as they should. I think we Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Well, that's good. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Oh. Forrest, the pepper spray is not working. It's not getting through the mask. No. But you go for the eyes. Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there. Martinez. God damn it. Leslie, I, I'm sorry. 
You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. I would have thought the How pepper spray it's gonna take to get help? would have still Gallo affected Creek the eyes. Nowhere, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. I, I wonder, I'm going to have to look just it up because I wonder if it was just a loosely situation do of where no matter what you did. All right, both I... God damn it. So I definitely don't think the baton think was the right answer. I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. I don't think uh, you want to use your The Scream as your thing. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... did. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was... Mm. Well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered of course him it is. jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Well, Dead. of course I mean, he's never pronounced What's this? the story? Story is, he's biding his time, <laughs> waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out <laughs> what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Wow. <laughs> Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? I don't know why you're complaining. Uh, how it many sounds did like you, get you before? chose to go there. You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Bingo. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. What okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, I didn't even get to listen to the music. All right. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? <sighs> nope. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? All right. Uh, 
Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? Unconvincing whistling. You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Do you accept requests? <laughs> I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh. Sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. Fortunately, you know there are people out there that actually would do this in a crisis situation. Cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. <laughs> we also want a mega gold. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Play me out, Gracie. It's time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. I'm Let's really getting positive. into this. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. I mean, it's not as jump scary as I thought it was going to be. But, um... When you're ready, shut the music off. It's very immersive. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me in. It's showtime. I'm town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. A, uh, a bad night to go out for a run, a jazz run. As much as I want to know what a jazz run is, the we want to get to the most important question. So, where are, where are you, you now? now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, we're going to get her killed. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh, look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I got to start this engine without the keys. And you're going to have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Uh-huh. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. <laughs> oh. Inappropriate.
appropriate song. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, <laughs> go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, we can actually leave the office now. Is this when the, uh... This is when the spooky stuff happens. This is when the spooky stuff happens. Why are there dead flies? This does not seem like a, uh, a very healthy environment. Sanitary. That's the word. Sanitary. Is there a what? One, two, three, four, five, five flies. No. And why is there a bright red light out there? And who... Not getting in there tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, you can never be too careful. Oh, um, women's bathroom. Wait, why is there two women's bathroom? Why is there two women's bathroom? Where's the men's bathroom? Gals, reporters, high winds, the big game. G so many locked doors, so few keys. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's bright. Uh, what are we looking for again? Oh. Um. 28 to 20. Please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. Ooh, I do love garlic bread. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three hour slow roasted pizza. How can you slow roast a pizza for three hours? You, we can all agree that the flavor profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town. Wow. I need a Chalupa Cabra now. Brilliant spree. We're gonna hold on to that later. Creepy hour. Crap and work. I heard that. Oh, that was you. What do we got here? Nothing. We've got nothing. And then we're thankful for it. Oh, hey fam. Twins, I borrowed your car, theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Okay, so we're there in the bathroom. Adult. What kind of adult? Um. I really want to take that tape cassette with me. But I feel like we need this screwdriver. I'm gonna toss you over there, and then I I'm gonna grab that tape. <clears throat> and right now I I I have no sprint button. I am sprintless. But I am adding this to my non-existing collection. Can I put you in here? Ooh, I can.
This looks useful. Oh, there we go. Close you. All right. But, uh, object trade. Place item in the tray to hold them up. Oh. Okay. Fix all cars. Inside. Keyless entry technique. Um, I'm sure that's what we need, but I'm just going to double check. Green. Hey, buddy. All right. My follow-up question is, is, are we in danger at any given point? All right. So, uh, oh. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. It is okay, perfect, Forrest, Peggy. Shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. I find a little annoying. Oh, um, oh, uh, ah, ah, okay. I am so glad we are not on a timer. Okay, step one use screwdriver as key. Ignition and twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Remove steering wheel column. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Uh -huh. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. And, oh, God, my heart is pumping. Uh-huh. You're doing great. Yes. Positive reinforcement. Okay. Yes. You need to help them believe that they can wire. do this. A blue wire, a yellow wire, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Five seven six. What? What? Is there five seven six six anywhere, and it doesn't start with what? 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 Wait! 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 Back. Oh! 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 Okay. Five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Okay. There's a four. Before a three and no seven in the number, although well, there's a seven. If there is a six anywhere and it doesn't start with five. Alright, then it looks like there's a zero at the end. And the three doesn't come before six. Alright. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Excellent question. Um, oh, now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Uh, and brush grip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires and twist onto the exposed 
Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Okay. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... Oh, energize your body! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Oh, well, thank you. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. We saved her. That's good. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday Storm to Friday riders. at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I will, Peggy. Thank you. Let Storm, Storm Riders, riders take, take you on a rock and roll, roll ride with, with the, the Glam, Glam Jam. Jam. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Peggy, be honest, it's a dump. There's uh, nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making mm. things interesting. Well, I like mm. it here. Poor sport. People are polite and, uh... Ass backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. <laughs> Come on, there must be something you like about this place. The scones. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. Forrest Nash. It's Forrest Nash. Nash for, I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can what? we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Oh, 12.42. I was just thinking what time it was. After all that, only 42 Color minutes have passed. One. Time to turn the music off. No. Good evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Hi, Brian. It's Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty, Ponty of... Ponty's Pizza. Oh, I do love their pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's, Ponty's pizza. pizza. What have you got to say about, about what's, what's happening? happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. It's just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. This is Just a, a little something to look forward to. A very odd town. Blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. Well, yeah. Are you eating for pennies? Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza <laughs> we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Too soon? Too soon? Hey, don't worry mm -hmm. about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. <laughs> well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down I do love to the beer and pizza, pizza deal. this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. 
Don't forget. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Uh, no. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required I love you, Peggy. by law You're my to play favorite. advertisements from our sponsors. Grab uh, a cassette and stick it in the player. Oh, oh, oh no, we're 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 listening to this one. Done. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh no. Who's out of beer? What am I gonna do? The party is going to be over! Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins. A free six pack? Right, Jim. Yeah. Six beers if Gala's High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we murder them. Ooh, Me poor too. choice. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spring. I'll call off 555 Wait, didn't we see a newspaper that said that they won? So we get free beer. Yeah. <laughs> Think responsibly. Hey, Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. <laughs> Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. <laughs> and we're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Oh. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. That's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah. yeah you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Hmm. They get that could worse be a problem. Every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year. Oh. We're about to listen to a murder. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Ooh. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? 
They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call hmm. one of them. Draw the killer away. Buy Marie's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, You right? got a better one, buddy? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Oh well, yeah, why don't you tell us which phone's the call? Oh, that, uh... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Come well, let me go. Ah. That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the <laughs> hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Go, Forrest. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. What a time to be alive with this sort of technology. So, let's see if we can do our best not to get Maurice killed. Oh, actually, we should be inspecting this. So... Archives, extension one, extension two, cubicles, secret archives. There's, where's the secret archives? How do you get into the secret archives? Boardroom office space. Okay. I think. Well, he's going to go to the stairs. Hmm. Hey, did you get the fax? I lost it. How did you lose it? The fax machine is just down the hall. Do you, um, I mean, do you think we could get him to send it again? I'm sure he'll be more than accommodating. I like sarcastic Peggy, I have to say. <laughs> Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the Whistling Man. Here's the situation. The Whistling Man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? All right. So Maurice is in the boardroom. We want to, I would say the editor's room. Boardroom, that's where he's at. Editor's room, <clears throat> it's up that way. But the question is, is if he runs, would he see him? Meet cubicles immediate right of the kitchen. I am gonna say editors. We want him as far as, uh, archives. Archives, we want the archives. Call the archives. The extension is 01. 
Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? No. Hmm. Okay, go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? All right, let's rethink this. Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? <laughs> Hurry up! All right, all right, all right. On uh, second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy, we're wasting time! We'll dial right, the Forrest. editors. I can get another number ready, but we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? All right, let's call the editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? And you go to uh, the archives. You're moving to the archives. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Because we can go in the Calling secret archives. Now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you? It's your producer I'll be crediting if I make it through this. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you oh, think he'll make exciting. it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Hmm. Ready as ever be. ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Um, oh, can we lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Mm. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? <clears throat> Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. Of course Secret he does. Archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god, Forrest, well, we must be able, able to, to pull end it the off. nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Oh. Uh. uh. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office. But 
What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. <laughs> Glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16? The, the Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement <laughs> from Brian Ponty. Uh. Don't be a Ponty Forest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? No. This portable radio never. should still be here. Should be here in the archives. Actually. Oh, that's let me good. just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. <laughs> yep. Exactly as we planned. Just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. Yes. I'm just gonna turn all it on coming together sure now. Still got some juice. <laughs> Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! Yeah. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. Tune it to our wait, station. We're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you Who would have thought? That, then... Yeah, sure. Oh, um, we gotta turn this down. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Let's see. Sounds what, like we need to what, make another call, Forrest. What Where we... should we send the killer? Wait. He needs to get to his office? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I was only half paying attention. <laughs> um. So I'll. Uh, Call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yeah. Make the call. Make the okay. call. Calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Oh, take advice or I don't want to antagonize the killer. I want to give him a reason to come after us. Yeah, we'll do impersonations. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, wow. I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am the... Good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. 
I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive oh. so far, Nash. <clears throat> So, definitely not under the desk if it can be seen. That's where the killer's going. Going across the room like that. I'd be stupid. Uh, I'd say cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You Wait, can trust us. He's going Here back to go. the secret archives. Oh, crud. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come <laughs> on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! <laughs> Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. It worked! Forrest, it worked! You beautiful bastard! Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe that actually All worked! All part of the plan. Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. We'll <laughs> see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. <clears throat> there we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Oh, what do we want to play? The word. Play me out, Gracie. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. That's never over. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Well, um, Nash. What do you want to know? Um, uh, maybe I like being mystery. Eh, all right. I'm gonna Shoot. open book. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? They exist. Come on, Peggy, that, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. My teddy no, that's bear. That's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Awkward. <laughs> uh, don't, don't be an ass. Don't be sorry, I'm not. Oh. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, mm. my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Oh? Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well... That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, oh. Mr. Weaver got sick one day and 
My mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I oh. had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? No. You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. Hmm. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay. Down to the first floor and check the door. That's not opening. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. That is a red light. Oh. Yeah, this, yeah, that was locked before. All right, upstairs locked. That's good to know. We're not on air. Very 70s. I like it. Retro. I will want... I need a key to get in there. I... Yeah, we're probably going... Need to key. In there at some point. Maze ticket. Those are some fancy feasts. Creepy hour. All right. Anything that we might want to take back with us. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. But we can still be friends. Brad, you owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Awkward. Uh -oh. Nothing else. A uh, new city of art, luxury apartments coming soon to Gallows. Oh, I got a feeling we're going to want to take this with us. Yeah, we're going to want to take this with us. So, I am not going to grab that cassette tape just yet. Because we have some replanning to do. Yeah. That's going to be a fun one. And I wonder if there's any more advertising cassette tapes. And that is a very creaky door. I did not particularly like that. Um. We may or may not need that. I'm going to assume we will. I'd rather have it than not need it. Anything else? Anything else? From below, it came. A tape. So dramatic. Final decapitation. One, two, and three. Ask me again. Get the hell out of my office. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with this piece of information. Alone. Rock on, gallows for life. Okay, um, I'm clearly taking my time. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. I am taking too long. I need to grab the tape and go. <clears throat> Holy crap, that, uh, that startled me. I, I just, I just want to check one more. Uh, okay, nothing. Okay, we're going to go. Play on air. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's there's no locking uh, uh, door mechanic, so if he did come after us, we're kind of screwed. All right, I'm uh I'm back, Peggy. Hello, Gallows Creek. Well, actually, I guess we'll pause it since who we're gonna there? listen to it anyway. I see who it was. Are they still out there? No, they left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. <clears throat> Here we go. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. Yeah, what the I. hell was that? I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Something. That, uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna matter. Hey, we had a call come in. Send it. Collar, you're on 189.16, the screen. The screen. With Ash, shut up and listen to me. Mr. Russell, what's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. So the one who left the cassette, he really did escape. You mean you knew he escaped and you didn't tell me? We only just found out. We weren't even sure it was him. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? And I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Oh, that was not smart. Did you let him escape? Of course we didn't. I demand you retract that accusation. Oh, damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you of sure course. it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. No, Look, you did not. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. That wouldn't be a smart really move. Spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer? Who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? We dance like no one's watching. It's what we do. There's only 104. Thank Time's you going again. by slow. This is Mackenzie for the helpful tip. The so I got three hours left. Cannot whistle. 
will remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Ooh. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Well, serious? Oh, uh, of course. Hmm. I wish those popped up sooner. Play me ASAP. Off air. How do I play this off air? All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Oh. But he has an angry color? He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Are we off air? My god, are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. All right, well, let's play it. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, then. Can't, can I go now? I... I seem to be leaving while I'm still expecting a response. Oh, <clears throat> we are going to get jump scared. I can feel it in my chesticles. I don't like that door squeak. No. Nobody make any. Any. Lock. For now. Okay. Oh. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Well then. No jump scares, no jump scares. That TV's gonna turn on at some point. I'm calling it now. to kill it hmm. 
watch the killer be in one of the bathrooms the whole time. Oh. Um, did did I pick it up? Is it oh 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 no. Give me that final breath. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek, I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Oh, baby. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Well, that was uneventful. Has time moved forward yet? It's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Of course it's going to be. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. No, you shut the music Evening, off. Caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. Happy birthday, Fernando. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. Oh, happy birthday, Fernando. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Oh, don't do that. No, huh? no, 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 no. Come face me, a true mm. warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, <laughs> whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Wow. Oh, no. There are people out there like that, too. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Thoughts and prayers. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> I think it's appropriate. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video <laughs> warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom <laughs> can be yours now for the low, low price. Oh, only this is so good. Just call 555-7861-USA. Oh, bow to your sensei. Wow. Never forget the element of surprise. <laughs> if you buy today, you'll receive two There's more? additional VHS tapes, the tornado technique, and karate love me. Call today. Bow to your sensei. <laughs> Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. 
I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss It's just a words? morbid curiosity Let's about karate lovemaking. Wow, what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine, And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving <laughs> along with our next caller. We got a caller. You know what to do. Oh, I do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Hello? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? Sure. Okay. It's always okay. important to stay confident. I'm gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's yes. your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? You live by a frat house. Yes, they're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And, and I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Yeah. Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I mm -hmm. knew where she was, I might know. But... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Oh. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Well, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I am super engaged in this. I am curious to see what who the killer is and what's going to happen Play a next. Record, Forrest. In a minute, Peggy. Um, I'm signing out for the night. Yes. You enjoyed it? Well, you know what to do. But you all stay classy now. And I'll see you all in the next video.